det gjør da Jeg hitter kløden som om hver dag var en lørdag Så mange damer er å drikke We may become for the human family a life-giving leaven and a means of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. From God our Father and from Christ Jesus, the light of the Lord's grace and peace is brought into time to the people of the Philippines 500 years ago. This initiative of love from the faithful God always comes first. And you, the faithful of the Philippines, have responded. Your response cannot be seen as simply a good thing you do for God. Rather, it is a gift from God he is the fruit of the loving presence, the life-giving presence of the Father and of Jesus Christ in you. Growth is possible only where there are roots. A new insight can flourish only if we have lost our memory. We celebrate anniversaries as historical remembering and he is fertile when we take the opportunity 
to reflect on what abides and at the same time search for a way that leads forward. The Son of God truly became man and completed a journey of total obedience and fidelity to the Father's will, even to the point of making the supreme sacrifice of his life. This is the good news that you believe in. As such, you have something to give the world which the world does not ask and does not know is the real need. You have the name of Jesus Christ to give. And this name of Jesus Christ is the good news for which mankind hungers and needs. Thank the Lord that He has called you to stand in His presence and serve Him by spreading His name. The Lord says that the harvest is abundant, but laborers few. As believers, thank the Lord that He has called you to serve in His harvest, which you can and must humbly accept again and again. You never need to act alone. The Lord Himself acts in the prayer and activity of the Church throughout history, as evident in the fruitfulness of the Church in the Philippines in these 500 years. He gave Himself to us and He gave Himself to the world through the history of His faithful people. But we cannot be God's servants any way we please, but only in His sacred body, the Church. May the Lord, who has accompanied to the Filipino people on the journey of faith, always make the grace of His presence perceptible to you. May He help you to give the world the name of Jesus. Salama at yours. Because uh, your presence is a key for Hong Kong, and also uh, it's not you are not stranger here. No. Just like uh, Father Jay said, the church is your church. The parish is also your parish. So I'm glad to be here, and then welcome you all, especially people from your brothers and sisters from Philippines. Thank you for your loving care and your dedication for the parish, hoping you continue this spirit, not only in the church, just like uh, Father Jay and uh, Cardinal Tabet reminds us, be a missionary. 500 years ago, the missionary bring faith here, share the grace from God with you. And I'm asking you, continue and keeping this spirit, no matter wherever you go, bring this message to other people and hope we are remember we are one family we are brothers and sisters and god bless you all thank you may we call also father harry hadiardo the indonesian chaplain to give us an inspiring word Brothers and sisters, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. First of all, I would like to thank God for giving us this beautiful opportunity 
come together and celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. For me and for all Indonesians, this is our faith, unity in God's mercy and love. As you know that, that Indonesia people really love uh, Filipino people. And in Hong Kong or in Indonesia, of course, you know, you could see that the majority of Indonesian people is Muslim. But then, when we come to our faith, actually, when Filipino priests came to Indonesia a long time ago, and now many Filipino sisters are serving in different uh, community in Indonesia, we are so blessed as a part of our Catholic faith. To be honest, Indonesian people also, especially Catholic, influence our faith by the Filipino missionaries, by the Filipino sister. So I believe that it is time to give thanks to God and we go together, journey as one family, continue to preach the gospel here, in the migrants community, in the families, or whatever we do in Hong Kong. And as Father Jay mentioned that, this is our church, home of love. Come together, no matter nationalities or who you are, but then as Catholic, when we come together, we celebrate our faith. Thank you so much and congratulations. Five, five years Christianity in Philippines. Salamat sa Dios. <laughs> May we call on Father Blaise Corey, Sri Lankan chaplain. Sri Lankan. Dear brothers and sisters, I am very happy to be with you today to celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. And also, I share your joy and the blessing of being here with you to celebrate this Eucharistic liturgy. Always, wherever we go for a Filipino Mass, we always have good singing. So even today, the singing was wonderful. It was a beautiful praise for God. And also, Philippines also has some saints. It was mentioned in the canon today, uh, Lorenzo Ruiz and another name. So the church has produced saints to the universal church. The purpose of the very, very purpose of the church is to produce saints. So the church is vibrant, church is living, church is persecuted, Church is breathing and also allow others to breathe. So let us always thank, while thanking the Heavenly Father for this beautiful day given to all of us, I also say, I also say share your joy with others so that people know that Christianity is a joyful way of living our life here on earth. May God bless you all. Thank you. May we call on Father John Brock, Vietnamese chaplain. I feel nervous. <laughs> but uh, congratulations on Philippines to celebrate the 500 years. You know that we Vietnamese owned Philippine throughout the gratitude because the first missionary came to Vietnam. It's written down with the name Inyak, Inyak or Inacio. It comes from the church of Philippines. And our martyr, one priest, he also, Chan Van Yung Lak, he also educated from Philippines and came home and offered his life for our faith and hope 
nowadays Vietnamese priests and sisters, of course, they send to Rome or to Europe, it's very expensive. We send them to Philippines to learn, to study, to deepen in faith, and come back to do evangelization in our country. Hopefully, we celebrate the 500 years anniversary of the Christian faith in the Philippines. Nowadays, if the people want to look for and to learn about faith, look for Filipinos, look for Filipinos here in Hong Kong or everywhere. And they are in the world. Congratulations. May we also call on Monsoon Bob Pintin. Good afternoon, uh, Cardinal Tong, uh, different uh, chaplains and our uh, co-celebrants this afternoon and our, our sisters from the different uh, religious orders. And of course, the chaplaincy for uh, Filipinos, you know, for migrants here in, in, in Hong Kong. Uh, thank you very much for, for, uh, for uh, conducting this celebration of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Uh, also, I would like to commend, uh, I was brought to uh, another spiritual height uh, uh, in this celebration because of our, of our uh, uh, music ministry. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Napakahusay po ng inyong pag uh, I'm reminded also of my time when I was in the Philippines because I was also a, a chorister back in the Philippines. So I know very well how hard you prepared for this just to make sure that uh, this is a meaningful uh, and, uh, like I said, very spiritual uh, celebration. Okay, so uh, the Consul General of the Philippines here in Hong Kong joins the Filipino community in celebrating the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Sa ngalan po ng ating uh, Consul General who unfortunately could not make it today. Uh, nakikisa po kami at... Uh, uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong panyaya. Uh, alam po natin na uh, 500 years, that's a very uh, uh, big milestone for us in our history. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it has been associated of course with the uh, with, uh, Spanish colonization. But for us, for the Christian faithful, it should be seen as the time when the light of Christ was made known and revealed to the people of the Philippines. And because of that, for the past 500 years, I cannot say it better than, uh, than Cardinal Tagle said, it has built the Filipino character. It has, it, has, it has formed our culture. It has been part of our identity. And to this day, we are, we are, we are one of the most uh, uh, Christians in the world who have the highest degree of fervor uh, in Europe, uh, yung mga simbahan doon, tahimik, pero pag Pilipino ang nagsisimba, buhay na buhay. Yeah. At uh, ganoon din po rito sa Hong Kong, tapuloy po tayo sa, sa ating uh, pagtataguyod ng ating pananampalataya at nagpapasalamat po kami sa inyo sa inyong patuloy na pagpupuklot-puklot sa, sa simbahan. And uh, like I said, 500 years, you have to look at that as a foundation for the next 500 years. And to see this as a beginning of the next 500 years where there are new challenges. Hindi na po ito yung panahon na that the time of innocence and ignorance about Christ is, 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 is long gone. The challenge now is how we can reintroduce Christ to the people and even to our lives, to the rest of the people. Because right now, people know about Christ. People know uh, about the... Uh, Christianity, but they do not know who Christ is. But we, the Christian faithful, we know. And that, because that is a faith that we share among among ourselves. It has been part of our resiliency, and uh, for the 500 years, we've experienced many trials and tribulations, conflagrations, upheavals, but we remain faithful for the last 500 years. So 500 years, for the next 500 years, we have to carry that on. And how do we do that? Sabi po ni Cristo, by this they will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. 
at yan, basically what and what is love kung hindi po pagbibigay hindi po ba it's about being generous being generous with our faith being generous with the with the rest of the world because that is the only way that we can show na tayo nga po ay mga tagasunod ng Panginoong Yesu Cristo so saan na po magpatuloy po tayo lalo na po dito sa ating uh, pamayanan makumpisa po tayo dito sa community natin sa Hong Kong let's start in our community let's be who Christ is for the for the next person and how do we do that we, sh we show love we show care para po malaman po ng ating mga kumbayan na na nawawala sa na landas at uh, those who feel uh, uh, disparaged or wala nawawalan po ng pag-asa sa buhay na ang Diyos ay buhay sa katauhan po natin so sana po tayo magtulungan yaman din lamang tayo po ay nagkakaisa manatili po tayong matatag at nagbubuklod-buklod sa ating panangbalataya. Maraming salamat po. Gifted to give, we give our yes for the kingdom of God. So we thank the Lord for the gift of faith that us celebrate our faith by sharing and witnessing our faith. So in behalf of the Filipino religious missionaries, I would like to thank our Apostolic Administrator, Cardinal John Tonghon, for presiding our Thanksgiving celebration for the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. And we'd like to thank also for Father Moses Ngai for his uh, for his generosity and for accommodating us so that we can have this celebration. And of course, Sister Regina Lito. And for the St. Jude English community, thank you for your assistance. And our celebration is a celebration actually of the Universal Church. So we would like to express our heartfelt thanks for the concelebrants. So this is the expression of our universality. And I, I hope there is some... Uh, anyway, first, our chaplain to the Sri Lanka community, Father Blaise Kore. Uh, Father Blaise. And also a newcomer, Father Francis. And chaplain to the Indonesian community, Father Harry Hatyar. And for the Vietnamese community, Father John Ma. And our parish priest, Father Moses Ngai. And our, uh, beside Father Moses, Father Fabio actually always helping also in this parish. And Father Hyasen eh, Ovi. And from St. Joseph Padre, Father Potong Pran Wargarsa. And Father Emilio Zanete, SJ, Father. A Filipino, Father Joseph Howe, also Jesse. And the, from Holy Paris Priest of the Holy Family, uh, Father Johnson Dos, uh, SBD. And from the Holy Redeemer Parish, Father Lolan Iscabosa, CIC. And from St. Alfred Church, Taiwan, Father Mark Serta, OMI. And from the Visitation Church, Tong Chong, Lantau, Father R.J. Venus. And also, Father Efren Ojeda, OFM. From St. Alfred Church, also Taiwan, Father Ronnie Gikalao, OMI. And from Notre Dame, Tokwawan, Father Roy Pasiente, OMI. And Father Romel Mendoza, as SDB. And Paris Priest of uh, St. Francis Mountain Church, 
Father Johnny Mandohar, Pime. And uh, newly arrived from quarantine, Father Francis Mahilo. And also Father Jojo Garcia. And uh, Father uh, the Assistant Paris Priest of St. Jude. Uh, thank you, my brother priest, for joining us. This is the expression of our universality. This is Catholic. Fathers, uh, they are happy seeing you here joining our celebration. And we would like to express our gratitude to the Philippine Consulate General Team, uh, Sir Aponso Bob uh, Quintin, thank you. And Ma'am Persic from OWA, Ma'am, thank you, Ma'am. Ma and of course, we'd like to thank our altar servers from the Annunciation Parish, headed by James and Daya. And Sister Cecile, our choir, the El Shaddai community. Thank you for leading us in praising the Lord. Thank you, Sister Cindy Bernardes. Thank you for our lectors and commentator, our ushers, Eucharistic ministers who assist this celebration, and those who prepare this celebration, and most of the preparation. This is the St. Jude Paris. Thank you, sister. St. Jude Paris. Thank you also for our partner in the mission on the air, the PTS, Pinoy Tayo Sanman. Thank you, sir, Mike. At si Jim. Uh, Jay. At saka si Jude. Our general friends who support us financially, no? Professor Maurice Teo, Father Thomas Mo, our lady of Mount Carmel. Uh, it's also Sister Victoria, thank you, Sister Cindy Bernades, and the Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of Angels, and the uh, DPCM Community, uh, the Diocesan Pastoral Center for Migrants. Uh, Sister Cora, thank you. And uh, Evangelization Families Community through Sister Eden Tabudlong. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Randy and Lulu Salazar. And also for the BLD community for uh, helping us, uh, assisting our bishop. Thank you from the BLD community. And may the Lord bless your generosity. I know there are a lot of people who help us, no? but they don't want their names to be mentioned. Uh, so thank you very much. And thank you, thank you also for the committee who planned for this gathering, or this celebration. Sister Cora Dimitrio. Sister, thank you. Sister Sergio Cantor. And Sister Peter. Sister Maricris Riazos. Sister Cecil Doki. Sister Victoria Victorino. Sister Regina Lito. Sister Evan Tabundo. And of course, Father Lola Iscabosa, Father Lola, Father Roy Pasciente, and our lay collaborator, Sister Cindy Bernardes. Thank you for your ideas, creativity, and suggestions. Thank you. And to all communities, parishes, civic organizations who are one with us in thanking the Lord for this Thanksgiving Mass, thank you for celebrating with us. And uh, to those who join us uh, for through online, actually uh, online tayo, thank you for joining us. We are one in spirit. We are one body of Christ. And I would like to especially thank the PDDM sisters for the best man. Ganda sister. <laughs> thank you sister. And let us always say yes uh, for the kingdom of God. Let this celebration be our inspiration in our mission. We are gifted to give, and let's give our yes to the Lord. So after the final blessing, uh, there will be animators to lead us 
to do action song. Uh, remember St. Paul said, no? our body no, is a pleasing sacrifice. We not only praise the Lord by our lips, but let us worship the Lord by our body. No? So, samahan natin sila, yung mga animators, for our session. Thank you. Thank you, Father.